live from the Western Mass News Studios in Springfield, this is Better Western Mass. Hi, I'm Ella. And I'm Lila. And, and we're Wish Kids. Thanks for tuning in. To learn how you can help make wishes come true. Enjoy the show. Welcome everybody this to a day of helping. I'm Taylor Jacobs and today it really is all about helping children's wishes come true as you heard there through Make-A-Wish, Massachusetts and Rhode Island. Now typically a fundraiser is held this time of year to raise money to make wishes come true. But with the pandemic, that can't happen as you might expect. So. Now you have a chance at home to help. You see that QR code right there at the bottom of your screen? You can open up your camera right on your smart device, hold it up to that code. This should bring you right over to a Make-A-Wish website where you at home can make a donation. Now the website is also right there at the bottom of your screen. You're seeing it all. So the question is, why are we doing this today? Let's find out. Banners, balloons, and cocktails are a usual sight at the annual Swish Night. That's a fundraiser held by Make-A-Wish, Massachusetts, and Rhode Island. We'd be welcoming 300 people here to Long Meadow Country Club for our annual Swish Night event. Um, we're not able to gather in person. I sat down with Peg Weebel, Regional Director of Make-A-Wish, Massachusetts, and Rhode Island, and Dr. Philip Glynn, former member of the Board of Directors, to learn more about their work. We grant life-changing wishes for children with critical illnesses. Our goal every year is to be able to grant the wish of every single medically eligible child. We don't do it alone. We rely on the support of the community. Regardless of where we gather, the mission is the same, right? The goal is the same, simply to raise funds for um, to be able to grant meaningful, impactful, life-changing wishes. This is such an important uh, 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 event and cause on, on a couple of levels. For these kids, they're going through, they may, they may be too young to understand the gravity of the condition that they have, but they have a life-threatening condition. And um, they're going through diagnostic testing, <laughs> doctor's visits, treatments, side effects, all these things that are, are really challenging for an adult. Yeah. So for a child, it's that much more difficult. For them to have something that they're gonna be able to look forward to, that's of their design, it's a big deal. And for families, that's the other piece of this. That for families, if, if, if you're a parent of a child who's, ha who's, who's in this condition, who's, go who's got a, a really serious medical problem, to, to know that your child's gonna have something that's gonna bring them great joy, that you don't have to plan, you don't have to worry about the cost, it's just gonna happen. There it is, some good context overall, everybody. And there it is again as well, that QR code where you can once again open up the camera on your smart device and hold it right over that. Now the QR code will be at the bottom of your screen throughout this entire show. You can also head on over to wish.org forward slash give hope. All right, now we wanna show you just how much these wishes mean to children and how much joy they can bring. We meet a young girl whose wish was very simple. She wanted a woodsy experience. Take a look. This is 10-year-old Alex Holt alongside her father, Jason. Alex was born with a rare, life-altering condition called hypoplastic left heart syndrome. Basically, Alex's heart can't supply blood to the rest of her body, which impacts what she can and cannot do. That's terrifying. Them telling these stories is terrifying. She's, you know, kind of a textbook scenario um, case for... For hypoplastic left heart syndrome, which we have, we're blessed for that, because um, life would not be the same without her. Um, <laughs> uh, she gets, you know, she gets tired um, faster than other kids might, um, but she keeps up. As an escape to their sometimes harsh reality, each year Alex's family would go on camping trips. It's kind of like a tradition. And I like adventuring with my brother um, in the forest. That's pretty cool. Yeah, sometimes we go in um, the trees. And the pandemic and restrictions that come with it, however, ruined 2020's trip. I literally get to make children's wishes come true. Enter Hannah Arbutnod and the rest of the team at Make-A-Wish Massachusetts and Rhode Island. She wished to be outside in nature with her family and uh, have a scavenger hunt and cook outside and, um, you know, just, just basically be outside with her family. Uh, I was touched by the simplicity of it. Living in a world if she can't, Alex and her dad say the organization made it so she can. We're lucky. We, 
there are a lot of families who are in much worse circumstances than us. And it's nice to be able to... To know that that Make-A-Wish is, um, is trying to help those people. Yeah. Alex Ziplined. Never, I think, at first, until, um, until I realized I was going to be hooked on, like, a line. Mm-hmm. But it was pretty cool. Rescued a lost hiker. I was excited to, like, be a part of the, the helping of someone. And Alex did find her. And, yeah, he told her to stay where she was and keep yelling. Stayed in a decked out RV. Tent camping in October in the Berkshires would not have been uh, quite as enjoyable. <laughs> it would be real cold. Yeah. And we saw we saw a beaver and deer on the way. Alex only had one problem. She couldn't bring home a bear. No bears. <laughs> Man. <laughs> um, yeah, we have children. There's yes. children. You this, are, yes, this, this. you are one of them. Yeah, but <laughs> I, I wanna I wanna have a bear. All the same, she remains one happy camper. Thank you, Mega Wish, for making my wish come true. Alex Holt, ladies and gentlemen, what a gem. A day of helping continues next, everybody. We meet a little boy with a big wish. We'll see how your donation today could help create joy just like that. And there's that full screen once again to show you that QR code. You can help make that wish come true. Just scan it with your smart device. We'll be right back. One boy's dreams and fantasy came to life right in his backyard. Jordan McCool takes us to central Massachusetts for this special wish. Meet seven-year-old Drew Arovino. His parents describe him as fun-loving and full of imagination. He just makes life so fun. Looking at him, you'd never guess he overcame the unimaginable. I went in expecting to just get a stronger antibiotic. She did a head-to-toe um, exam and found a mass in his abdomen. What started as an ear infection and persistent fever turned into something much worse. About 12 hours later, they were telling us that they suspected that it was a Wilms tumor, a type of kidney cancer. Fast forward six months, and after surgery, radiation, and two rounds of chemo, 100% cancer-free. He remains cancer-free, and his fight made him eligible for something pretty special. A wish. Our mission and the impact of the mission is so strong. It's really about the whole journey from once they're referred to make a wish until, you know, we reveal it to them and they've had this whole experience with us. That's where the director of the WISH program from Make-A-Wish, Lauren Cotter, came in. I oversee the WISH program for Make-A-Wish Massachusetts in Rhode Island and work with all of our coordinators and staff. And this specific family, um, it was working with the volunteers and talking with them about what his ideas were. Coming up with a memorable wish took some time. It did take us a little bit of time to to kind of pinpoint something. But Drew finally thought of the perfect wish. That I was in the Hobbit world. Drew's dad helped spark his interest in The Hobbit. They watched The Hobbit movies. Um, and Read the stories, read, listened to the audio yeah. books. Uh, basically something that I grew up with and wanted to have them be part of that experience as well. So to be in the Hobbit world, Drew needed his own Hobbit hole. This wish is such a a perfect fit for Drew is because it allows him to be in the center of just a fantastical world um, as a hobbit in his hobbit hole. Drew's hobbit hole is tucked in a hillside in the family's backyard, fully equipped with furniture, a kitchen, and special lights giving Drew space for endless possibilities. My favorite thing about it is the whole thing. And he had his hand in the design, too, overseeing every detail. I want the blue door because some of them are blue in hobbit thing. A unique wish for a unique boy. We were looking to do something just a little bit different. Something that spoke to Drew. Like it was, it, it really does embody Drew's imagination and his personality. It gives him a, an avenue to let that come out. And the Hobbit Hole means a lot more to the Arobino family. It symbolizes Drew's fight and spirit. Nobody really wants to be part of 
the club that you have to be in to, to have the opportunity to experience a wish, but um, it's it means a lot to our family. It really is just like Drew made of wood, <laughs> basically. In Sterling for Better Western Mass, I'm Jordan McCool. Welcome back, everybody. So by now, you might be wondering who qualifies for a wish and how to refer somebody. That is why the CEO of Make-A-Wish, Massachusetts and Rhode Island, Sean Holleran, is joining us right now. So, Sean, welcome to the show. Glad to have your insight here. So just tell us, first and foremost, about the impact of the Make-A-Wish mission. Sure, Taylor. But first, let me just say thank you to you and the station for hosting us today. This has just been incredible for all of us. Um, thank you. It's an honor. Um, the impact of the mission uh, started well over three decades ago here in Massachusetts, we have fulfilled over 8,500 wishes in Massachusetts and Rhode Island alone. And the power of those wishes uplift the lives of children and families in local communities all throughout uh, Massachusetts and Rhode Island. Uh, and what, what happens is, as Lauren referred to earlier, is that when a child um, is about to be granted a wish, it's a, it's a journey that, that occurs. And what happens is, the, um, when they start to experience that wish is that they become full of anticipation and full of excitement and, uh, and they feel something positive really for the, maybe for the first time uh, while they're uh, going through uh, what, what is really a, a, a dark and uncertain time. And what happens that we start noticing is that they start regaining a sense of control and independence that's often lost in the routine of the medical visits and their treatments and, uh, and their doctor visits. And so it's, it's, it's quite phenomenal what happens. And then what happens is that the wish starts with a simple question. Uh, if you could wish for one thing, what would it be? And when those wishes are fulfilled, uh, we start seeing the, our children having greater resiliency in the face of their illness. They have renewed courage and confidence, and they have a stronger sense of the possibility. And, and really, I think what's most important, hope for the future. Yeah, no doubt. It's like an escape in a way from at least the ones that I've been able to speak with. Just an incredible story with each and every one. So I guess... To somebody at home who might be watching this, who's eligible and how can you refer somebody, let's say? Sure. It's, uh, it's pretty straightforward. Um, uh, you have to be older than uh, two and a half uh, and, and be under the age of 18. You must reside in Massachusetts or Rhode Island. You have to meet specific Make-A-Wish medical eligibility uh, criteria uh, and not have had a previous wish granted either by Make-A-Wish or another wish organization. And a child can be referred to uh, by a healthcare professional who are part of the child's health team, um, parents or legal guardians, the child who's being treated for a critical illness, the children can raise their own hand and say uh, uh, they, they want a wish. And uh, family members of those child can also uh, refer a child for a wish. And to actually refer a wish, it's really simple. You can just go to our website, visit wish.org forward slash refer, or call us at 617-367-WISH. Uh, that's 617-367-9474 if you want to if you want to refer someone. Awesome stuff. And then I guess we got about a minute or so left here. And it just it, do, do you guys grant anything? Like if I said I wanted a dog, could I get a dog? <laughs> yeah. So we've granted a lot of puppy wishes uh, recently. Uh, the types of wishes that we're granting now include online shopping sprees, backyard playhouses like the one you just saw with yeah. Drew, mm -hmm. um, room redecorations, puppies. Uh, some children uh, choose to give back to they're um, Dana Farber or to um, wow. uh, recently an orphanage here in Massachusetts. And so they're giving back. They want to pay it forward. And then we've, we, uh, in my first wish, uh, I participated in a wish where a child wanted to become a mermaid for the day. And she uh, swam with her, her doctors from Children's Hospital here oh, in Boston. Wow. It was phenomenal. That really is inspiring. unbelievable. I, I, it's just a shout out to all of you over there uh, who are doing such awesome things. And a reminder, we have that QR code, everybody, at the bottom of your screen. Sean, we'll run it up against the clock. We're going to take a quick break, everybody, and be back with this special. Thanks again, Sean. Good stuff. Thank you for having us. Welcome back, everybody. So Make-A-Wish gets so much support to grant wishes. They want to take a minute as well to thank their sponsors. We'd like to take a moment today to thank our incredible sponsors, especially Brennett and Ron Sadowski and family, an anonymous donor from Westfield, Phil and Thomasina Glenn, Arthur and Peggy Grodd, Mercy Medical Center, Patera Subaru of West Springfield, the Collins Companies, the Dowd Insurance Agencies, Keedy Ford Montemagny Wealth Management Group at UBS, Kittredge, LaPlante Construction, Beth and Michael Crowley, Mary Terlese and family, Haverman Katz and Weber families. We are truly humbled and, and grateful for all the sponsors that you see scrolling here. Although we were unable to hold our event, 
uh, as we have in the past. These sponsors put our mission first because they believe in the hope, strength, and joy that a wish fulfilled brings to a child and their family. We're so very thankful for their partnership. It's only together that we create life-changing, impactful, meaningful wishes for children with critical illnesses. Oh, that is awesome right there. And thanks to anybody out there who donated today. Uh, your generosity, folks, it's going to help make a, a child's dream come true. A very special wish. And if you haven't donated once again, but you'd like to, you can visit wish.org forward slash give hope. Also, that QR code right there, boot up the camera on your smart device, hold it right over that. It'll take you right over to that website as well, which once again is wish.org forward slash give hope and a special shout out as well to everybody who helped make this show possible here today from our producers uh, Catherine the folks in the back Alex uh, Eric Rosario pho photojournalist putting all this together Bryn Cartelli and of course the folks at Make-A-Wish for doing all that take care everyone thanks for joining us